Hello guys, in this video I will show you how we can use different fonts in our Android Studio project. So let's start. So let's open your browser and search Google Fonts, click enter and open the fonts google.com website. So here you can see a lot of fonts and we can download it. These all are free. Some of them are premium, so we can uh, download it from the external sources. So let's search for a uh, font Poppin. So here is the Poppin font. And this is the whole family of Poppin. This is thin, extra light, light, regular, medium, semi bold everything you want so now we have to download it so let's download the family select the location i will select uh, the desktop okay let's download now the download is complete let's close the browser so this is the pop-in font let's open the font so here is the whole family. Now let's extract this. So this is the whole family. Now we have to select some of them because these are a lot. So let's select uh, bolt alt italic bolt light and thin and delete the other ones now for information you must uh, when you import these uh, fonts to android studio these must uh, not contain any upper cases or any symbols so let's rename these let's remove the uppercases and the symbols so now we are done with the naming so let's copy the fonts now let's create a android studio project so create a new android studio project click empty activity click next give it the name font project now click finish so as you can see our project is ready so now right click on the res resources file and go to new and open the android resources directory so here in resource type select the font and click ok now we have folder let's paste the fonts that we have copied earlier so now when we open the folder as you can see everything is ok but you can see the error because the um, i in italic is uh, in uppercase so we have to re refract it so go to refract and go to rename and refract the i to small i now refract it now you can you can see that the error is gone now we have to go to layout file and how it looks in other fonts and as you can see we have a text here let's increase the size to approximately 40 so you can see so this is a text now let's change the font family uh, we have default sans serif etc these are look like these but we may change it to poppins 
let's say popping bolt so as you can see we are, our font is changed to popping bolt let's try the popping light and this is the popping light font and you can change it to any anyone you want and you can simply go to the google fonts download it and apply here 